Uh. Alright, this is like the tenth take that we've done this, but um, she has a situation that she needs to be talking about. And I have a stray hair. <laughs> um. No matter what happens in this one, <laughs> we're gonna post it. <laughs> um, so, I'm a girl. And I'm not gay, so I like boys. <laughs> I like a boy. Specific boy? Specific boy. Not In Pacific. But don't <laughs> be obvious about it. I'm not trying to point him out because all my friends are gonna know who I'm talking about now. Not that they all don't your already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't want him to feel all singled out. What if I'm in love with somebody else, but I'm not? I'm only in love with this boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've liked him, slash, more so been in love with him for like five years. Yeah, five years. And, well, this will be the fifth year. Because I met him when I was a freshman in high school, and now I'm a freshman in college. Mm. He's amazing. And he's very cute. Very, very good looking. Um, I just went up there for a week. And it was the first time that we got to hang out. And I had an amazing time. I hope that he did. Um... I know that it meant more to me than it did for him. And stuff that we did meant more to me than it did to him. Um, this is where Leah gets pissed. Because he treated me amazing. Except for a couple times. He treated me amazing. <laughs> okay, he left me twice to do stupid stuff. Yeah, stuff that he shouldn't have been doing in the first place. Especially leaving you for yeah, I don't know. In his defense, I wasn't feeling good. And would have been a party pooper. Well, he should have been there taking care of you then, if you were so amazing. He came back and took very good care of me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, moving on, considering we're going to be posting this one. Um, <laughs> that was her dad. Um... Yeah. He did. He really did treat me amazing, and he took such good care of me. He was he, he treated me like I was golden, okay, and I've never had anybody treat me like that. And it's really, really confusing for me, because beforehand, we talk, like, almost every day. Like, on the phone, almost every day. For hours. Yeah. We would kill his phones, like, four times over. And I went up there. Had an amazing time. Treated me like I was queen of the world. For a week. For a week. And then I've been home. This is starting the second week I've been home. And since I've been home, I've talked to him on the phone twice. And had... Counts twice. Yeah, and they weren't even for an hour, like, each time. I was on, like, but whatever. Um, it had maybe... I talked to him online for like five IMs every day. And long conversations. Yeah, real long. <laughs> but I, I just feel like I either did something wrong or I just wasn't what he expected, even though he knew who I was and knows who I am and what I'm like. You know, it's just. I wonder if it's my body image, or... <laughs> you know, I, there's so many things going through my head that I'm all like, what if this, or what if that, and why isn't he talking to me? You I know? think it's just because he's a jerk. Yes, because you sorry, don't like him. You've never liked him. You know, it's like... I think he's trying to catch up with his friends, because he's out with them all the time. I don't trust him. Yeah, I don't think you're going to trust any guy that I'm with. You didn't trust Zach. Didn't? I did for a little bit, and then he Until he started turned. hitting on your boyfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that was funny. Though. Yeah, way to go for me. My relationships. Gay. <laughs> Gay. Rape me. 
gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Chris, who... And then there's ooh, Chris. Ooh, oops. Not supposed to name names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> Everybody knows who he is anyway, except for the, you know, yeah, know. the people I don't know. Yeah, I know. So. But still, I feel bad making him, like, the focal point, and now they actually know who he is. Oh, well. Um, but anyway, I think that she should just forget about him because he doesn't seem to be doing anything good for her. I mean, that week, cool, was amazing, but he doesn't seem to want anything now. Well, I went into it knowing that he wasn't looking for a relationship. But you got attached. I did get attached because he treated me like I was something very special to him. You know, like... He treated me very, very special. He treated me the way that I expect to be treated in a relationship. But now he's treating you like he... I don't even know the words. It's just... <sighs> treating me like we're not. Yeah. Treating me like we're just acquaintances. Pretty much. And it's bullcrap. And I want to know what all you guys think. Because I want to know if, if you're thinking that she should keep on with it and keep waiting and see if he wants something if he keeps talking to her or if she should move on and try to find somebody else even though it might be extremely hard right now but. yeah cuz I've had relationships since I've known him and they all failed because they weren't him they weren't what I wanted they weren't what I was looking for and he is what I'm looking for but you're also comparing him to everybody. Exactly, because in my mind, he is who I'm supposed to be with. He is perfect for me. I am physically attracted to him. I am sexually attracted to him. I am emotionally attracted to him. Except for this period of time right now where I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And no girl should ever feel like that when it comes to a guy. It's just, it's bullcrap. Yeah. And it's not right. And so comment and stuff and tell us what you think. Yeah, even though I know what everybody's going to say, because they always say it anyway. Who knows? Who knows what might happen? Yeah. I just want to be with him. Because I've never had anybody that good looking. She <laughs> doesn't interest me at all. That's the only reason? That's not the only reason. It's like, I am I am one of the people that's shallow, okay? I need, I go for physical attraction oh, before I talk to somebody. That's how I met him. I saw him, thought he was very, very good looking on my friend's MySpace. And was like, hey, you're cute. And we started talking. And, because face it, honestly, can you be with somebody who you're not physically attracted to? Yeah, but can you be with somebody who you're physically attracted to and is a jerk? He's... He... To me, he's a jerk. He's yeah, well, to me, your boyfriend's a jerk, too. But... I don't completely hate him. Well, I don't completely hate dude in New York. I just think he's not right for you at all. Because he makes you feel like this after a week of feeling amazing. It's after, like, five years of feeling amazing. <laughs> two years of not talking? Okay, it wasn't two years commutative commu all together. It was... <laughs> or all at once. <laughs> it was... Well, actually... It, it's okay. <laughs> I've known him, and we talked in that period of time. We just didn't talk like we did before and now. <laughs> I love him. Okay, on that note... Tell us what you guys think. Because her dog's going to start spazzing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, subscribe and stuff and vlog. And... Let us know. Bye. Thanks, guys.